It's a brunch favorite. You can't go wrong with flaky pastry crust and a savory cheesy filling. What's not to love? Sai Foster with a bountiful kitchen is serving up her favorite quiche for us. Sai, what makes quiche easy? Because I typically wouldn't put that <laughs> word with quiche. Well, it's a really, it's a simple dish. It's, you're talking about beaten eggs, some type of milk or cream that you're putting in with the eggs. And then, I mean, this is my basic recipe. Then we're just adding cheese. If you want to put meat in, you can. And then whatever vegetables you would like. I think so, quiche is one really of those simple. things that actually makes you look like you're a cook. Like right. it's beautiful and it's this yes. kind of extravagant gift, but you're saying right. it's easy and it's versatile. We can it add is. in different ingredients and just switch it up for our likes. Right, right. So the quiche we're going to make today, this one that I brought already made has um, asparagus and bacon and a couple different types of cheese in it. Yeah. It has a Parmesan cheese and also a Swiss cheese. And um, and that's all that's in that one. Okay. Um, I you can do anything you want with quiche. So are you a meat eater? I'm an anything, anything? eater, pretty okay. much. Okay. So we're gonna start out with. Um, oh, don't. Whoops. Burn your fingers. <laughs> we're gonna start out with um, a crust that's already made. And is this a homemade and pie yes, crust? Yes, this or? is homemade. Okay. But you can, if you want, you can go to the store and just buy one that's pre-made. Um, when you look at this, you'll see that there are little flecks in this. I made this last night and put it in the fridge. And so those are the little marks of either shortening or butter, depending on what you use. Because once it's refrigerated, you're going to be able to see those in the crust. But okay. when it bakes, you won't notice okay. those. Okay. And is this a deep so, dish pan or just a regular? This is a regular pan. Okay. And when I make quiche, I prefer to not do it in a deep dish because um, this basic recipe I use turns out perfectly in a regular okay, pie so pan. Okay, so that's good to know about right, this recipe. Right, so just a regular pie pan. Okay. And I think you get a more even bake if you if you keep it to the point where it's not too thick. Okay. So with the quiche, I usually take the crust mm -hmm. and I beat the eggs. This is um, beaten eggs. And then this is just a combination of milk and cream. I like to, to use part milk and part cream because I feel like if you do a quiche with all cream, a lot of times it's a little too heavy. Okay. And so I like to do... And were there do, some spices in there as yeah, well? Yeah, I just put a little bit of nutmeg in and then some salt. Nutmeg, that's um, interesting because yeah. I typically use that for like sweet things and this right. is a little more savory. Right, right. And you always want to put a little bit of nutmeg into a quiche. I think it just adds a really great flavor and um, you won't, it's not like you'll bite into it and say, oh, there's nutmeg in this. It but just gives it a little something. Right, right. And so we're going to pour this in once we put the vegetables into the pan. Okay. So if you want to take those vegetables, yep. I just sauteed some. The reason why I saute these first, these are mushrooms and broccoli and a little bit of green onion. And the reason why I saute those is because mushrooms give off a lot of liquid, right? Uh -huh. And so you don't want to put those directly into your pie plate because you're going to get, um, they're going to release a lot of liquid and um, then you'll get a little bit of a soggy crust. Okay. So I like don't to like saute that. those yeah. first, just for a couple minutes and mm -hmm. a little bit of butter. And you can do the same if you want to do spinach or um, anything. Like I said, the first one that we made, we put some sauteed um, asparagus in. But we're gonna add a little bit of bacon to this one. Uh -huh. And you could do ham, you can leave it without any meat if you'd like. You could use sausage, anything that you like. Um, let's, do, let's do a little Swiss cheese in this one. And then also we'll do some Parmesan cheese. I like that combination with oh, the bacon. Oh, that's an interesting combination. Yeah. yeah, one of my favorites is to buy smoked salmon and then oh. spread a little bit of cream cheese in the bottom and break up some smoked salmon. Oh, it's wow. really yeah, good. That would be and, delicious. and just kind of unusual. So mm -hmm. you can see that you can put whatever you'd like in this. And then yep. if you want to just dump the egg over the top, so the key is that you're always cooking your vegetables before you stick them into right, your pie. Right, right. Something like, something that's going to give off a lot of water. It's just better if you saute it a little bit first and it will really help your crust. Okay. And then you just put this in the oven. You're gonna bake this and when it comes out, it's going to look like this. And one of my tips for getting the crust to not sink in, I have lots of times I have people say, oh, my crust, you know, kind of shrunk and went down into the uh -huh. pie plate. So what I do is I take the crust and I kind of pull it over the edge. Okay. So I'm giving it a little bit of Extra help. Extra room. Yeah, and then it's going to shrink a little bit, but I pull it over the edge and before I fill the crust, I put it in the fridge or the freezer for at least 30 
to 60 minutes. So get it minutes. cold before right. you're adding all the ingredients. Right. So it's really simple to make a quiche at home. And I think a lot of people are kind of intimidated, right? And it's really it's really a simple, simple thing to yeah. do. Yeah. And do you have any so. any fun, special ways of serving this up? What do you like to oh, garnish it I with? I love to serve quiche with just a green salad, maybe that has some fruit in it. And then I love to make Lion House rolls to go with it okay. as well. It's one of my favorite things And to are you do. serving it so. as it comes out of the oven or are you chilling it? No. So really for quiche to be at, at its very best and to cut and to keep the pieces all uniform, you want to let it sit out for at least an hour after oh, you've taken okay. it out of the oven. And so if I make a quiche ahead of time, like these quiches I will go ahead and bake and I'll freeze them and then take them out on Sunday and use them already for Already cooked, brunch. freezing yeah, them, not at this ready. stage, but at that stage. Right, at this stage where they've already gone into the oven. So it's a really simple, you know, you've already made it ahead, it's ready to go. If you wanted to make these on Friday, you wouldn't even have to freeze them. Just put them in your fridge and then take them out and bring them to room temperature. You could heat them up in the oven a little bit as well. So, okay, we can do yeah. it. You've convinced us we yes. can do it. And yes, where can we find can. all of your great recipes? Um, they're all on abountifulkitchen.com. And this is listed as, I believe this is um, a Bountiful Kitchen's classic quiche. Okay. So, Thanks, Cy, for stopping welcome. by.